Well, this is a weird question, but I understand there's a few masturbation scenes. There well, easier to practice had a lot. That made it really difficult. This one only has one. I told myself I wasn't gonna put it, but PG, it has yeah. a lot. It's definitely R-rated stuff. There's stuff that's even stranger than masturbation scenes in it. Okay. In some ways, I think it's even edgier than my first edgier. I mean, people use the word edge to describe sex, but it's not. There's no nudity. There's no sex in it, but there's like uncomfortable moments in it. There's stuff that I'm like, okay, I, I hope they're memorable because it's kind of, they're unexpected turns in it. But it's also got, it takes a pretty clear, you know, it also deals with religious themes a lot. Not until sort of the second half of the film, but, you know, that makes people more nervous. And I, it, does, it doesn't, in fact, I think it's really respectful. I, I had no agenda with the religious approach in it at all, but it just, it deals with that. And it didn't, like I said before, it didn't wear Sedaris's voice on its sleeve. I hope it's like in his spirit, but it isn't his... It doesn't take any of his jokes and put them immediately on screen. It doesn't deliver that much on sort of the wish fulfillment of... Uh, fortunately, David Sedaris fans have really liked it and got what we were going for and have appreciated that we didn't just take it and throw it up on screen. That, you know, we really put it through a process and that I've made it my own. It seems like most of his fans appreciate that. Um, but it made it hard for people to understand exactly what the movie was going to be like. Um, and I would imagine my next film will probably be just as hard, you know, to get to get going, so...